Good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, I would love to share with you guys today a dream that I had. Sorry, my camera is kind of bad. So, get the photos right now. About being, not being able to see me that well. So, the dream happened. This morning at 9.15, August 16, 2018. So last night, I was reading the Bible and listening to Abide. If you guys don't know what Abide is, Abide is it's a meditation app that's for, like, Christian app. And they have different, like, type of, like, meditations and Bible stories and prayers to help people so I was having a hard time falling asleep so I listened to their Bible stories last night and I did their mind prayer that they had and I finally fell asleep I quickly went into a dream and I was back in the California at Chicano Park. Is where this dream started. Then later on down the line, I wound up downtown. Just a little background on California. I'm originally from there, but I recently moved from there. To Washington, so I'm currently not there right now. But yes, I had this dream about California, where I'm originally from. So the dream started that I was in some type of vehicle, but I couldn't really see what vehicle I was in. So I'm assuming that I was either with God Himself or Jesus and God. And for whatever reason, I couldn't see the vehicle because I was with them. And they were protecting me and making sure that these people with the mark did not hurt me. So, in my dream, I was going past Chicano Park towards, I guess you can say, more downtown San Diego. And I was going past the street, on one of the streets, and I'm going a little bit past the Coronado Bridge, and we're riding past that way, and I go underneath this freeway underpass, and I see this boy, this young boy, he's like 15, 16 years old, and he has his chain on, and he has like these fancy clothes on, and he doesn't have a mark he doesn't. He's riding his skateboard and he's running his business. And all of a sudden, these four men, at least grown men, I thought. I'm not really sure what they were. But these grown men that looked like, uh, like they had the mark and I seen the mark on them. Um, they started chasing after the guy. I mean the young boy. And he tried to get away on the skateboard, but it didn't work. He, they wound up catching up to him, and they started to eat away at his flesh. And it was almost as if they were not human, but you knew that they were human because you seen the mark on them. And two of them had the mark on their forehead. The other two, the other two had the mark on their right hands. I began to cry, and I was thinking to myself, why Why am I seeing this? But I knew there was a reason, so I just stayed, and I just kept praying and asking God to give me the strength to watch this. As this was happening, and they were robbing him for his money and stuff, um, this woman that i never seen before, she runs by, and she has a mark on her forehead and she sees them doing what they're doing 
and she doesn't even stop to bother to help the young boy. So of course the young boy died and I went to another scene. So the next scene, I'm at Tolfin Imperial Transit Station and I see the same lady that I saw before running again. And I'm wondering how come I'm seeing her so much. Because I keep seeing her over and over and over again. And so I get on this bus and I can't remember exactly what number the bus is. And this guy gets on right after me. And he has a gun in a whole store. And he has another gun in his backpack that you can see sticking out. There's like three or four of them. And then you can see that there is like a knife on his side pocket and there's a couple of other items that I can't really see but I could tell because they're poking out of the bag in his backpack so I get off but right before I get off he starts shooting people and apparently I get off because in my next scene I see the lady running and um, I was walking and then I wandered up running right into her somehow and I saw the mark on her and I was just like wow and then I saw her face and her face was deformed it looked like somebody had this surgery on her eyes like her eyes didn't look normal at all it looked so bad and it looked like somebody I knew but at the time when I first saw the dream I didn't really think of who this person was but I believe that the Lord is going to tell me one day on what's going on because I think it was a clone of a person that I knew in my past that had got killed during the Christians being killed because she was a Christian, a girl that I knew that this girl looked like but this girl's face was a little deformed so I'm not really sure if she left God and she got the mark or if it was a clone that had the mark yeah but anyways um that's what happened in that dream and then that dream ended, I woke up, and that was it. But I want to tell you guys about another vision I saw a year ago. And I don't remember the exact time, but it's actually similar to this. I woke up after that dream, though, and it was really sad. So about a year ago, I had another dream. And I was actually um, at California still, and I was getting off the trolley. As I was getting off the trolley at Fresh uh, uh, Mission Valley, I noticed that these guys were getting on the trolley, but they had all black on and they had hoodies on, and I thought that was kind of strange. And they had music bags, but they didn't have any instruments. What they had filled up in the bags were guns, because I saw them poking out. And I got off the trolley, and I'm thinking to myself, like, what's going on? Something's obviously going on. And so I get off, and I just look at the trolley as it goes away. As it's going away, oh wait, in my vision I actually saw, even though I wasn't on the trolley, I was able to see. So, on my vision, I actually saw them 
get on the trolley and shoot everybody. And right before, right after that, they wanted up blowing up the trolley. But before they blew up the trolley and they started shooting everybody, they said that they were told by somebody, I don't know who, but they said that they need to make a sacrifice with their bodies in order for them to get into paradise with Allah. And then after that, that's when the shooting happened. And that's when they turned on the bombs and blew themselves up. And then I wound up waking up after that. So I found these scriptures in the Bible. It says Romans one twenty four, wherefore God also gave them up to un uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. And Antithius 2.5, to be discreet, chastened, keepers at home, good, good obedient to their own husbands, that the word of God be not blasphemed. Jeremiah 24.7 says, and I will give them and heart to know me, that I am the Lord, and they shall be my people, and I will be their God. And then it also says, For they shall return unto me with their whole heart. Jeremiah 14.10 says, Thus says the Lord, Unto this people, thus have they loved to wander. They have not refrained their feet. Therefore, the Lord do, re do remember their inequality and visit their sins. Second Timothy 3.2 says, For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, disobedient to parents, Unthankful, unholy, without natural affections, truth breakers, false accusers, and contentment. There's despisers of those that are good traitors, beauty, high minded, lovers of pleasure of pleasures more lovers more than lovers of God having a form of godliness but denying their of from such turned away and that was from the scripture 2 Timothy 3, 2 through 3, 9. So, I don't know exactly what these dreams meant and what this vision meant. But what I do know is that was the mark of the beast. And I'm not sure if it's changing people's whole demeanor and their personality. And they have some type of like thing that they're doing to people which is causing them to have a hunger and thirst for blood I don't know but it was really scary and it seems like to me this is going to be happening to every single person that gets this so if you're listening please do not get the mark because if you get the mark you will change completely and you will not be the same person that you are now because you remain in God's image. We all were. And if you choose to get that mark, you're going to be completely banned from going into heaven. You're going to go straight to hell. So please repent. 
and forgive those who have hurt you. Pray for those who let you down. Please change your lives around because we don't know the day and time that all this is going to happen. But this is going to happen one day. And just like people are saying, these FEMA camps are real. I've even had a dream about one. And in my dream with the FEMA camp, I actually saw that, like people are saying right now, it was Walmart that they were turning to FEMA camps, and also they've had other t different types of FEMA camps. And in my dream, I was actually in a church, and I was reading my Bible and praying in tongues, and I was also sharing with some people the word of God and out of nowhere these three guys that were foreigners came to the front door of the church and started to tell people that martial law has started and you are no longer and the owners of this establishment this belongs to the USA government and they threw people out of the church and began to shoot people and throw them in jail and force them to do things that they never really have done before and burning people alive and a bunch of other things happened and it was just terrible as this all was happening I left the church and this angel met me there and he grabbed my hand and we started walking down the street as we're walking down the street, I seen these big army or military tanks in the street. And I also seen officers in the street. And we, instead of protecting us and making sure we were safe, for some weird reason, they all were killing people and torturing people. And I began to see people getting their heads chopped off people being crucified, people being just, it was disgusting. Bodies everywhere, blood everywhere. I just couldn't help it but cry. And so I kept walking, I kept walking, kept walking. And I noticed that there was holes in the ground. So I don't know what happened, but it was just terrible. And next thing I know, I see that in the distance that there's like this house, right? And we go to that house and we hide out there for a little bit. And then I come back out and I don't know, I guess I died because um, I went to the next scene and I wound up being in heaven and I was with God and Jesus. And I remember... I was just like, I was so amazed and I was so thankful and I was so happy and I was telling them, I was like, thank you. Thank you so much, God, for saving me. Thank you so much for protecting me. And I just started like praising him and praising him and I was singing and I was singing and I was dancing and I was so happy. And I remember, but I was also sad at the same time because I knew family members and friends of mine we're not going to come with us. And I knew that they were going to be in hell. And I tried everything I could to help them, to tell them the truth about the Lord. And they never listened. So I just pray that whoever hears this video right now, that you are able to really hear God's heart in this and know that he does love you, but he's also equally wrapped. He hates sin. He's a holy God. So I just pray that you'll change. I'll keep praying for everybody and I'll post some more dreams. Thank you and have a good day.